The subway to nowhere, the city was alive with the usual hustle and bustle as Sarah hurried towards the subway station, her mind already on the day ahead. Lost in thought, she barely noticed the people around her, their faces a blur of colors and shapes. She swiped her card through the turnstile and descended into the depths of the station, the rhythmic rumble of the approaching train growing louder with each passing step. As the train screeched to a halt, Sarah boarded her eyes scanning the crowded car for a seat. She found one near the back and settled in, pulling out her phone to check her emails. The train lurched forward, gaining speed. Quickly as it left the station, Sarah was engrossed in her work when she felt a sudden jolt. The train had come to a stop, but it wasn't at a station. The Lights flickered and dimmed, and an eerie silence fell over the train. Sarah looked around, but she was the only one who seemed to notice anything amiss. The other passengers were oblivious to the sudden stop, lost in their own thoughts or staring blankly at their phones. Sarah felt a chill run down her spine. Something was wrong. Then, just as suddenly as it had stopped, the train lurched forward again, accelerating at an alarming speed. Sarah gripped the edge of her seat, her heart pounding in her chest. The train was moving so fast that it felt like it was about to fly off the tracks. She looked around again, but the other passengers still seemed oblivious. They were laughing, talking, and texting as if nothing was wrong. Sarah felt a wave of panic wash over her was she the only one who could see what was happening? The train sped through the tunnels, the darkness a blur outside the windows. Sarah felt like she was trapped in a nightmare, a speeding bullet hurtling towards an unknown destination. She tried to scream, but no sound came out. Then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the train slowed down. Sarah braced herself for impact, but the train came to a smooth stop. The lights flickered back on and the doors hissed open. Sarah was the first one off the train, her legs trembling. As she stepped onto the platform, she looked back at the train, but it was already gone, disappearing into the darkness like a ghost. The platform was deserted, the only sound the distant hum of the city above Sarah felt a wave of dizziness wash over her, and she stumbled against the wall. She closed her eyes, trying to catch her breath. When she opened her eyes, she was no longer on the subway platform. She was standing in a deserted alleyway, the towering buildings around her casting long, ominous shadows. The air was thick with the smell 
of garbage and decay. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest as she looked around, her mind racing. Where was she? How had she gotten there? She felt a growing sense of dread as she realized that she was lost, alone in a strange and dangerous city. Turning, she ran her footsteps, echoing in the empty alleyway. She didn't know where she was going, but she knew she had to get away from that place. As she ran, she could hear the faint sound of a train approaching, growing louder with each passing second. She burst out of the alleyway and onto a deserted street. The train tracks running down the middle, she looked up and saw the train barreling towards her, its headlights blinding her. She froze, her mind blank with terror, the train bore down on her, its horn blaring. Sarah braced herself for impact, but it never came. The train passed right through her as if she were a ghost. Sarah stumbled back, her eyes wide with shock. She stared at the train as it disappeared into the distance, then turned and ran in the opposite direction. She didn't know where she was going, but she didn't care. She just had to get away from that place. She ran for what seemed like hours, her lungs burning and her legs aching, she didn't dare look back, afraid of what she might see. Finally, she collapsed against a wall, her body exhausted. She lay there for a long time, catching her breath. As she slowly regained her strength, she realized that she was no longer in that deserted alleyway. She was back in the subway station, the platform bustling. With people, Sarah stood up and brushed herself off, her mind still reeling from the events of the night. She had no idea what had happened to her, but she knew that she would never forget it. The end.